we are all human and those babies are our children whether we have them naturally or we we raise them off from some places they are our children so i am asking everyone even if you can raise a child even if you can adopt a child just try to smile a smile for a child is a gift try to do something so that you can help that little child little girl little boy we don't know the story behind behind them uh, but what we can do is we can change the world with little just a smile so aisha is a very grown up my children have you know have never known that she is an adopted hey what's up man we just have you today mr ramet how are you doing I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I just uh, want you to to tell me the story of Aisha because you know you shared this story with us uh, last time. The second time I met you at turn, I want you to share this story with us, with a lot of people, with, with our followers on Facebook, so that we can keep it forever. Because I know that you know it will change some lives. It will be a message of hope. Um, yeah, tell us everything. All right. In a yeah, in a nutshell, I will say a little bit about Aisha. Um, Aisha is my daughter. It's my first daughter. How did I meet Aisha? She's not my biological daughter. She's an adopted daughter. How I adopted her? Um, I was in the United States of America. Then I came back to Chad. It was in 2008, and um, just early 2008, like like uh, January, I came back to Chad. 2008, and uh, something happened. Just two weeks after me coming back to Chad from the U.S., rebels have attacked Jemena. We had to go out of Chad, and I found myself in Cameroon. So that was in early February. So I came back to chat in on the 25th 23rd of January 2008 um just like the next day on the 27th war started and then 29 first April February 1st I had to move out of Jemena to go to Kusiri and then from Kusiri I continued to Marwa this is where I grew up so when I reached Marwa uh the first day was good I did not go anywhere the second day i had the idea of visiting an orphanage and when i went to that orphanage i was welcomed by a little girl 3 years old uh, running toward me and then calling me a daddy 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 and i was surprised like wait a minute i was not in cameroon for more than 12 years and uh, how come a little girl calls me daddy so it was a surprise for me and i took her we went inside to see the managers and then i sat down with them we discussed a little bit but the little girl was just on me and she was telling everybody that she she met her daddy that went for me was just a small story of little girl trying to say something and the next day i came back to the orphanage again for the second time visit um the girl came back to me and telling me daddy again calling me daddy daddy are you here and then i'm just like man then the the manager of the orphanage told me that she was telling to the to the other people I mean, other children that she met her father that her father came and happy you know that word from the lady touched my heart it's like how come i don't know you know and then the next day happened the same thing and every time i come by the girl is just with me and then she's just like my daddy and then i asked a story about the girl they told me that she lost her father and she lost her mother when 3 years old and one of her auntie was raising her up and the auntie was a lady that always you know doesn't stay home she goes out looking for men and then she forgets the girl she leave the girl by herself she always like sits around and then tell that the girl um and she drugged the girl the little girl she drugged her and she doesn't eat you know it's completely very sad story and the 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 chief of the neighborhood asked them to bring the girl to the orphanage and the girl was left at the orphanage that's how the story of Aisha started and when she was at the house at the orphanage she was really sick then they took her they took care of her they sent her to the hospitals and everything and now here i am and she's calling me daddy what should i do and the girl kept on telling everybody that she is my daughter and then i asked the story um to the manager if there is a way to adopt the girl they said yes it's possible because i was really the girl was really attached to me and there's no way for me to just let it go and i did all the processes for the adoption uh the lawyers and everything and then they gave me the girl with my name she was named Aisha Ahmed Borgoto which is very interesting um very sad because of where she was coming from and for me I was told that I would never have a baby and uh, doctors told me that I would never have a baby 
uh, Aisha is supposed to be my first daughter. Thank God I have someone that is going to be my son. Even if I don't, she's going to be my daughter. Even if I don't have any child, so I have to raise Aisha as my daughter. Then I told my wife before we get married that this is the story of Aisha. If she accept, uh, she accepted to raise Aisha as a daughter. And today Aisha is, I think this year she's going to sit for baccalaureate. Uh, she is in uh, terminal. She is in Cameroon with my other children. Finally, I got three children. Aisha is the elder. So like four now with Aisha. So Aisha, it's like kind of a, a blessing for me because I was thinking that I will never have a child in my life. And even if I will not have a, have a child, Aisha is part of me. The way she approached me touched my heart. And there's no way in the, in the history of the world for me to leave Aisha, you know, because she already appointed me as a father. She's a gift, so I... In a nutshell, so many stories about it, but I just took some part of it to say, to tell everybody that we're all human and those babies are our children. Whether we have them naturally or we, we raise them up from some places, they are our children. So I am asking everyone, even if you can raise a child, even if you can adopt a child, just try to smile. A smile for a child is a gift. Try to do something so that you can help that little child, little girl, little boy. We don't know the story behind, behind them. Uh, but what we can do is we can change the world with little just a smile. So Aisha is a very grown up. My children have, you know, have never known that she is and adopted and I my daughter my my daughter Aisha it's going to be an elder sister you, know, you have to give a smile to a child you know whatever you are big or small whoever anytime you find someone that is in need try to do something to help uh, it will raise you to a point where you will never understand just because you give something to someone who is in need and Aisha was the person, one of the people that was in need, and I was there. God made me meet that little girl to change her life completely. So please, and please, I want you to to think about those little children who are in need of us, and maybe we can change the world by helping every one of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Ahmed. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Okay.